te dé la información, yo quiero ver la persona. So you mentioned you were here when the shooting happened. Yeah, I was throw, throwing out my trash. I ate at the Mexican restaurant right there when I heard about five shots. And soon after, a uh, Latino man, I would say of Mexican descent, walked in with a hole in his chest, collapsed, and died. How old did he look? How old did he look? Yeah. Uh, I'm 41. He may have been like between 25 and 35. What else happened? I heard there was a second victim. If there was, I wasn't aware of it because I don't know where the shooting started or even if he was the in intended target. I just know he got hit, unfortunately. Uh, did you see a, a vehicle that left the scene? Um, at the time of the shooting, I looked towards the street and I did see a black car pass towards uh, Uptown, and but I, did, I didn't get the make or model. And I didn't. I don't even know if it was involved. Uh, anything else you'd like to say about this? Uh, do you live in a neighborhood? I do not. I used to live on this block right here, but I moved to New Jersey a couple of year, years ago. My car got hit, so that, that that's a story to tell. You know? Your car got struck by the... Uh, by, by bullets. Two, two of them, once over the windshield and once near the trunk. Oh, wow. And anything else you'd like to say about this? I mean... Are you worried about your safety around here? No. I mean, there's eight million people in New York, dry, 16 wet, people die, you know? It's unfortunate, and I really wish a lot less people would die, but... How often do you notice shootings around here? That's the first one I saw, and I, I have 13 years, ex well, 11 years experience on, on this block since, since 2013. Wow. Thank you so much. What's your name? Tristan Clark. Can you spell it? T-R-I-S-T-A-N-C-L-A-R-K-E. I have an issue with R's, so those are R's, not L's, so. You got it. Thanks again. No problem. I'm so sorry. All right, you live in the neighborhood? Yes, sir. Lib so how do you feel about this? Uh, two people shot, one of them's dead. Oh, man, it's like, you know, uh, I just moved here like a month ago. <laughs> so like knowing that like uh, stuff like this happens makes you want to be alert and aware. Then know like uh, this area, it, it, it gets nasty like that, didn't know. But yeah, it makes you aware. You are worried about your safety? A bit, but I kind of knew living here that this is, you know, this kind of shit happens, but as long as like, you know, you're smart and sensible. Yeah, man, I'm just biking and I saw this. I was like, wow. And 
Anything else you'd like to say about this? How often do you notice shootings around here? No, this is my first time. First time noticed the shooting. Haven't really seen any fights for the most part. Washington Heights is a uh, friendly area, so, you know, very Hispanic area. Music's playing on the weekend. But for the most part, people say hello, say, you know, hi, and, and people are helpful. When you know, so you're lifting a piece of furniture to your apartment, you know, they open the door for you. So, yeah, no, I'm pretty shocked. Pretty shocked. Uh, it's happening like about 160th. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, What's man. your name? Adrian. Can you spell it? A D R I A N. Thanks again, man. Yes, sir.
plate, they, they got like a model. Yeah, they had a license plate, yeah. Something 1985.